All right, guys, it's the first of the month. It's like the fourth of the month, but you already know what time it is. It is time for my graphic novel and sneaker haul. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. On this channel, I talk about comics and uh, something else we got coming up really interesting as well. Uh, but if you're interested in comic book reviews, consider subscribing to the channel. Now, this is my monthly graphic novel haul. Now, if you've been following the channel, then you know that the month of July was just kind of crazy for me. And as a matter of fact, the month of August isn't starting out any better. Our AC is out and you might be asking why I'm wearing a hoodie. Well, because it looks decent. And uh, as Pimp C once said, TV ain't got no temperature. <laughs> so uh, we're going to jump through. I'm going to show you these graphic novels that I got. But first, this video is sponsored by Emily over at Posh Kicks. Um, now, if you've been following the community posts on the channel, then you may know that I just started a brand new channel where I'm going to be diving back into my first love, which was sneakers. Um, and what's crazy is there's this whole new underworld of UA sneakers. Uh, UA stands for unauthorized, authentic, uh, another word for replica, which is another word for fake, right? But these companies are making these sneakers and they look like almost one-to-one -one exactly like the retail shoes. And so Emily at Posh Kicks sent me over this package. I'm going to show them to you real quick before we get into the graphic novel haul. And if you are interested in a full review, head over to the Kicks on Kicks channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're interested in a pair, there's information for Emily at Posh Kicks below as well. So we got this nice cream and brown Nike Air Jordan box. This looks like this is the Air Jordan 1 box. If you're familiar, you're probably familiar with it being black and red. This is obviously a collaboration. So we got this nice pink paper with the Travis Scott Cactus Jack logo and the Sicko Mode Face logo. And that is because these are the Air Jordan 1 low OG reverse mocha. Uh, these are really interesting. So collaboration between Nike and Travis Scott, um, as you can see, it's a nice Air Jordan one low. This is made of like a, it's got, I mean, obviously these tumble, it's white tumbled leather here, got this nice sail or cream colored uh, tumble leather here. Turn this light down a little bit, you can see it better. So yeah, colors on this are really cool. Um, this comes with three sets of laces, technically four, because there's one in the shoe. But you got white, you got red, you got brown on the laces. And of course, it comes laced with a cream sho shoelace. Uh, we got on the back, on the left shoe, you got your Travis Scott Sicko Mode logo. And on the right shoe, you got your Air Jordan Wings logo. Very cool stuff. Uh, like I said, I don't have time to do, I don't want to do a full review here, but this is a shoe that's just really dope. Um, over the next few weeks and months, I'm going to do a segment on this channel called Comics and Kicks, where I show off a pair of sneakers that um, reminds me of a specific comic book story or character. And then we're going to take a look at that character and why, you know, what, you know, the story that inspired the shoe. Uh, so to speak. This is really interesting getting back into my first love, which is sneakers. Um, but I know that, you know, most comic fans aren't necessarily sneaker heads, but I know a few that are like my man, DJ links. Uh, so if you're watching, what's up, dude, it's really crazy to me that they're making these fakes like this good. Like that's crazy. Let's put that right here. That just seems like a great thumbnail. So anyway, uh, Let's get on to what you came here for, and that are, is the graphic novels. And like I said, full review of this shoe, all the B-roll, all the great stuff that's going to be on the other channel, Kicks on Kicks. I'll leave a link in the description. So next up, we've got our graphic novels. Now, the month of July was super light for me because we were dealing with like this household nonsense and then the AC. Then my daughter's birthday came, so I only got a few books, 
but I think they're worth it. So let's go ahead and start off with, boom, an oldie but goodie, and that is Deceased Dead Planet. This is Deceased Dead Planet by Tom Taylor. This is the official sequel to Deceased. Now, there are other Deceased books. Uh, you had Deceased, you had Deceased Unkillables, and the next book on the list, Deceased Hope at World's End. So Hope at World's End and uh, Unkillables both basically take place at the same time as Deceased. And then Deceased Dead Planet is the sequel that takes place like five years after the Technovirus takes over everything. Spoiler alert, there's a Technovirus that takes over everything. Um, but basically this is a, this is DC zombies. This is the zombie apocalypse in the DC universe and John Kent, Damian Wayne, and, uh, dang, I forgot which Wonder Girl. Is it Cassie? Yeah, Cassie Sandsmark, Wonder Woman. They're trying to save the planet so they can go back to their planet. Uh, so super dope stuff. If you're not reading Tom Taylor's Deceased, you're tripping. You're tripping. You got to read Deceased. There's a new one coming out. I think it's called like War of the Undead Gods or something like that. But that starts out, I think, next month. So I decided to grab all of the Deceased hardcovers. Uh, fun fact, Deceased Volume 1 was my first hardcover before then i wasn't buying collected editions but i bought the local comic shop day version of that book with the joker on the cover and uh haven't looked back love tom taylor's deceased love tom taylor so dead planet hope at world's end look at that matina cover right there just good stuff just good stuff now this one's a little bit weird because it was a digital first series and it was kind of designed to only be on the web so all the panels are like rectangular and eh. But whatever, this one collects DC's Hope at World's End 1 through 15. It's not really 15 issues. It's like 15 like little mini chapters. Kind of equates to like maybe three to five issues, but there you go. And then this one collects DC's Dead Planet issues 1 through 7, which are actually seven full-size comic book issues. So that's Tom Taylor's Deceased. And the last book on my graphic novel haul of the month of July so this one, this is the Penguin Classics Marvel Collection Black Panther. I did a full overview of this book already, but I love it. Uh, it's on this nice gold gilded pages. Uh, we've got this like nice matte off white paper. Um, now this book is technically oversized, but you can see that if I put a comic book on these pages, the actual art on the page is about the same size as a standard uh, comic book. So you could call this standard size and you wouldn't be wrong, but it's definitely like a nice coffee table presentation style book. So that's the haul. Uh, I ordered a couple of other things. They won't be here for about another week or so. So they'll be in the August omnibus haul that you'll see like on the 1st of September. But until then, now, if you're looking to get any of these hardcovers that I showed you today, you can grab an Organic Price Books, our channel sponsor. Uh, they have all of the best collected editions, brand new, straight from the warehouse, straight from the printers. Or you can do pre-orders for stuff that's yet to come out or even back orders for books that are still in print but may not be readily available at the warehouse. But you can use my coupon code BJKICKS at checkout. You'll save $2 on orders of like one or two books. And if you're a big baller, shot caller, buying three books or more, use code BJKICKS, ship it together, and you'll save 5% on the whole order. So thanks for getting price books for always making a way for me to get these books. As a matter of fact, I swear I got these two. Let's go ahead and get the thumbnail and get out of here. We got to do it. We got to do it. Uh, let's see. Bring the sneaker back to my head because that just was a fun thing to do. Will that stay? And. Oh, wait, let's put it on the other side. So there we go. We got the thumbnail and I look ridiculous. I hope you saw something you liked in this video. And uh, hey, if not, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.